Okay, I wanted to give this video to explain a little bit more about how she's hearing. So without her hearing aids, she has a speech intelligibility index of 13 on the right and 19 on the left. And that means that she hears roughly 13% of speech sounds on the right side and 19% of speech sounds on the left side. And that's without her hearing aids. When she does put her hearing aids on, that improves significantly to 91 on the right and 90 on the left. And so what you're looking at here is um, these, the blue X's and the red circles. Um, this is actually kind of a graph of normal hearing sensitivity. And then I put in her thresholds for when she's wearing her hearing aids. So it comes up into almost the hear the normal hearing range. It's kind of like barely in the mild hearing loss range, um, but that's what we would expect from well-fit hearing aids. Um, so when she wears her hearing aids, um, even though it's a big improvement um, at 91 and 90, it still is not quite 100. And so I just wanted to um, let you listen to what it might sound like for her to hear other children with her hearing aids on. Okay, and then I'm going to switch over to someone with normal hearing listening to that same child. When I was a little girl, I got sick. That's when I came to Children's Hospital. It's a hospital just for kids. The nurses and, and then I'll go back to um, that simulation of how she hears with her hearing aids. When I was a little girl, I got sick. That's when I came to Children's Hospital. It's a hospital just for kids. Okay, and I don't know about you, but I could hear that the child was speaking, but I had to really pay attention to try to pick out what the words were and it just it took more effort and some time for me to process what was being said and certainly anytime there's any background noise or um, if she can't see the speaker's face or if she's paying attention to something different then that would um, make listening more difficult and so hopefully she will be wearing her hearing aids every day to school and we also want to add in those accommodations that we added as part of her 504 plan. If you have any questions, please let me know.